November 27th, 2019. Cold and blustery out. It's Thanksgiving. Me and Cricket just hanging in the greenhouse. Just chilling. Keep singing cricket. And they said, we're going to go out, we're going to go help the people that were shot, and you stay close in here. Well, he walked partially out. Sing your praises, dude. He walked yards down the trail from camp. And people said, Luke, just stay right here. Keep an eye on the camp. He could see the camp from where he was at. And they said, we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> well, they eventually came back. And what had happened was, it's better if his friend Sorry. shot his other friend, Ray, thinking he was a deer, and killed the guy instantly. And they drug the guy into camp. And you imagine the chaos, you know, one friend shoots another, how emotional that would be, and now there's like 10 people in camp, and they're looking around. Well, it started snowing December 1st. It's December 2nd. It's still snowing. It's forecasted to snow till at least midnight. Maybe longer. We're easily over a foot here. I guess we're probably 14 inches. Happy winter. <sighs> December 4th, 2019. We got blasted December 1st and 2nd and into the 3rd with a wicked snowstorm. We got all total about 2 feet. Yeah. We got buried. So welcome to December. Welcome to winter. Let's just take a look at the beehives quick. Well, here we are. Looks like they've cleaned out some dead bees. <clears throat> I still got to get the mouse guard back on this one. Looks like they're laying low in the hives. I would be too. It's damp and cold. Well, just thought I'd do a quick update. And I guess while we're at it, I'll let you look at this cedar. Those branches are usually six to eight foot off the ground. We got so much heavy snow, they're actually laying on the ground at the ends there. Yeah, looks a little different in winter, huh? Sounds like the Yodi's got another deer. Here we are, December 7th, 2019, in the greenhouse. Pretty cold out today, it didn't go up much over 33 or 34. Supposed to drop down into the low teens here tonight. And uh, going to be a cold one, so I'm gearing the thermal mass up. Uh, I got some nice dry cherry in there at the moment. Just got it cranking. Just wanted to uh, share that nice roar. And actually, uh, I 
can see the heat waves in the lens of the camera here. I don't know if you can see that on the film. Uh, but wow, she is cranking. The stove puts out a tremendous amount of heat. Uh, it started up about 3.45 or 4, and it is about 5.20 right now. This pot was down to, uh, I don't know, maybe 95 degrees or so, and it's up to, uh, I can't touch it now, so we're looking at like 130 plus. Um, and then, uh, I haven't started the heat transfer pump up yet. Uh, you can see uh, some steam rising off of this uh, side tank here. This stove is really throwing some heat out. You can actually see the convective air draft sucking the fog up in under the pot as the hot air comes up and around. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Reminds me of boiling maple sap, actually. Catching a nice hot flare. Big old hunk of cherry on a nice hot coal bed. Just shuffled it around a bit in there. Open those air vents up a bit. Get the stove ticking. If it's heating that fast, it's expanding. <laughs> Rocking. Heat on. <clears throat> I just turned the REM pump back on today. I refilled all my uh, water tanks. Sorry, I don't have my headlight on at the moment. And uh, it's uh, raining out there still. Just let it catch the old flare. 